Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Witches of the Moon. My name is Dia, aka Oriolesis.com, and whatever else you need to know can be found in the description box. Um, this week we are talking about runes, and the rune that I picked is where is the camera at? Can I find the camera? There we go. The rune I picked is Menes, right? Now, the reason why I picked Manas is because Manas is um, basically mankind. It's your skill, it's your ability, it's the self. Um, but also Manas is kind of how you see yourself in the world and how the world sees themselves in you. And I'm just pulling up my, man, uh, my different Manas pieces um, while I'm talking to you and looking for them. I think this is the one for this for this set because this set wasn't really carved correctly. But yeah, I haven't worked with the rooms in, um, in a while. Most of y'all know my story. Y'all know that um, a long time ago <laughs> now, I per a beautiful person by the name of Glammy, who no longer goes by the name of Glammy, by the way. Uh, she is now the intuitive coach. She gave me my first set of Oracle cards. And since then, I could not read with my rooms anymore. Yeah, that's the one. But this don't look like that is manners, but it, it, it is. They just, the way they carved it is on this set, it's just, it's not the best car, best carving. Um, that's the blank room. I'm sorry, I'm just making sure, because I believe you. It's not the best carving on that set. But anyway, so with that being said, manners is ability, it is um, mankind, it's skill. It's more so how you see, how, again, like I said, how you see how the self sees itself in the world and how the world sees self. However, Manas is also um, Wang Wango or Wango, which I normally always pronounce if I'm wrong, which is this one. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Now, if you notice that um, Manas is actually a double Wango. Wang Wango, Wango, I always say it wrong. Don't come for me. I always pronounce stuff wrong. And Wango is more like bliss and joy and self-worth. And I like that because when you look at this one, right? It's a double one, but they're looking in on itself. So basically, um, when you're working with Menes, knowing that it's really just a double Wango, you'll start to realize that when you see bliss and joy in yourself, you can find the bliss and joy in others. And for, by finding bliss and joy in others, give them permission to see themselves in you, and find the bliss and joy in you. So when you're working with manifestation, um, this is a great symbol to have. When you're working with self-worth self -worth stuff and attraction stuff, this is a great room to um, to work with into your work. Now, how do you do that? Well, if you're making a mojo bag, you can literally put the rune in the mojo bag, you can write on a piece of paper, or you can use the runes how I have them here, which are different stones. This one is carnelian. Um, this one is the obsidian, and then my amethyst one I just had around here somewhere. It might have rolled. I don't know. I thought it said either way. You could work. That's how um, you could work with it that way. Uh, writing it down, or what you can do, you know, if you're working with somebody else, or if you're starting a new relationship, right? Because keep in mind, Menes is a double wango. When you're working with other people. You could take two of these, tie them together. So take these these two. Whoops. Two of these, tie them together, or write it write them down separately, tie them together, so that it represents the two of y'all finding y'all self worth in each other, finding y'all self worth in um in yourself and having a blissful relationship. Now that could be for business, it could be for networking, it could be for love, it could be for a bunch of different things. But yeah, my video is not this long. Um that's the room that I chose this week. Um I want to say, as usual, watch everybody's videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Um, stay blessed to be a blessing, and I'll see you next week. Peace.